so, Dr. Dre. <laughs> or, or, easy, <laughs> no, or the family of Mr. Jerry Heller <laughs> may own those publishing checks uh, or anything or ruthless for a while. <laughs> Or oh, not nah, easy easy's wife, I think, still got some of the Ooh, okay. Easy's wife got them, man. Yeah, I think she she easy. Easy. Yeah. she need to holler at her. All right. <laughs> so y- y'all see this whole thing with Ray J trying to get this Mana and Ken Brandy tour together. I would I'm gonna put it in the top. <laughs> I'm gonna re-reference back to a previous episode where um uh Stacy um said uh and she says in our intro. For our commercial, that people understand and know why Monica slapped Brandy. Um, I immediately thought of you when I saw Ray J saying this, like, "Yeah, a brand, I mean, Obviously, Monica gonna open up." I was like, "Oh, well, yeah. I think that." Oh, I was like, "Oh, niggas!" Like, I was one of them people in church. Like, oh. Yeah, oh, this is not '94. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I literally wrote. Um, I said, I wanted this in 98, really bad. I wanted it in 98, I'd have, 98, 2000, I'd have went. Um, and I don't, what, I don't even think they're going to make it through the whole tour. If, if it even happens, then they're not going to make it. Through. Why do you say that? I think it'll, I think it'll. Because Monica's going to smack the fuck out of Brandy. Are you kidding? She, well, like, I mean, she what, the, what, would, she I mean, what, happen, what would happen? We rotate I mean, cities. All right, how many are right, we start? We doing twenty? I, I know they're not doing fifty. They are gonna probably do like twenty, maybe thirty right. cities. <laughs> I mean, if they act right, they could get it international if they wanted to too. If they want to act right, they could do 20, 20, 25 here, do ten overseas. Brandy gets on Monica's last damn nerve. Monica is gonna. Oh, you said just as a person? Yeah, I'm like yeah, yeah, Monica, like Monica is gonna punch Brandy again. That's what's gonna happen. Like that's it. She's gonna punch you in the face again. That's why they're not gonna make it through the tour. Is because Mon- Brandy gonna get fucked up. Because Brandy gonna do something and annoy the hell out of Monica. You that, uh, Brandy annoys the fuck out of Monica. They gonna Look, try to take over the, the if Whitney. If you ever history. actually watch them, if when they're in the interviews together, look at Monica's face when Brandy talks. <laughs> you know, you know they gonna try to do a Whitney Houston tribute, and Brandy gonna take it over. <laughs> Listen. Brandy gets on Monica's last damn nerve. Hey, but speaking of tours, uh, I see Escape, uh, SWV, um, 702, and Total are touring this summer. Yeah, uh, is it somebody? Is it one more person on that tour? I think it's it- another group. I can't think of who it is though. But yeah, SWV and Escape are the, the top, the main. Well, yeah, the headliners. Cause they got um they got a commercial out with um Mona Scott is like a therapist with them. Yeah. On a couch. Cause, Hold on. Cause they were supposed to tour like a couple years ago, but Escape had some drama. Was it? Oh, yeah. the, oh, the Queens of R and B. There we go. Yeah. So who's on? Oh, that? and Maya. 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 Yeah, so Escape, yeah, SUV, uh, Maya Total, and Seven O Two. I don't have enough Maya songs in my heart. Oh. You got, you got, she got three or four songs she could roll out. I mean, I, I mean, the girl has several albums. I'm just saying that there's like one song. She that gave you the 15 minutes. She gave yeah, you the yeah, minutes. easy. She got um, Case of the X, which is my um, jam. The song just the song with me. Jay. The song was yeah, the song with Jay. The remix, the case, uh, uh remix, yeah. Case yeah. of the uh, X. Uh, the uh, what's uh, the one uh, where they sampled the uh, the far side beat? The yeah, phone. Falling. Falling. Yeah. What's she gonna do? Take me there. Black Street gonna come out. <laughs> and, and she can do uh, oh, be, uh, Beatman. Girls in Sugar. Ghetto Superstar. Yeah. Listen, I mean, like there years. are. I said, I'm not saying the girl doesn't have songs. I ain't saying that. I'm My love is like whoa. <laughs> like she would. Oh, I I honestly never liked that song. So when it came it out, I was it. like, I was so happy that she came out with something else because, look, like whoa. And then they yeah, and, and, and look back. It was kind of rapey because Cisco's a grown ass man on that song. It's and she was in high school. She's the same age as me. <laughs> during her and then there's always something that bothered me. So during her dance breakdown where she's flipping outfits and all of that, you Cap can see dance. the video. <laughs> you see a video. What do you mean? You can really? see when you, when you watch it. You can see it's a bad. It's a really bad edit job. So like so is she. 
she's doing the exact same choreography. She just has different outfits on. So as she's, you know, as they go from one frame to the next and it's like that outfit supposed to be switching, you, you'll, send me, I'll show it to you and you'll, you'll just, I'll like, it's between these sections and, or just like right here and you'll be like, oh, you'll see it. And like, I would watch the video and I'd always see it. And which on which video? Uh, no, my no, love no, is no, like, well, oh, okay. Or like, well, whatever the song. Yeah, yeah, okay. But no, the uh, Case of the X is my shit. That is my song. I'm saying, but Brown I mean, but so I mean, how many people are, no share no it's music. It's only has three people in it now, right? Because who left? It's or they kicked out? Who? And what group? Seven or two. Uh, no, of them back. I think all four are back. Uh, on that flyer, it's only three of them now. It's only Candy, oh, three. Oh, uh, okay. Toya, I mean, uh, not Tiny, and uh, some one of them sisters. Yeah, Tasha's not there. Oh, I thought all four. Is Tasha the one that her husband was out there uh, taking money? Possibly. So, Tasha, that's the one who has always been an issue. So, Tasha was the one who was originally the big one in Escape. Right, and then she got that's small and thought she could go solo. But that's her. Remember, she was mad originally because she didn't go solo. She could have, and I re- and I I'm actually she really could have. Like her song "Liar Liar" on the Best Man soundtrack, my Nick, that whoo shit, that song is everything. And she could have, but you know, at that back then, again, like she was the bigger girl, but she wasn't big, right? But you know mm-hmm. that at that time, so. I can see that, but uh, yeah, she's definitely she is not on this flyer. Uh, but like, and now, and always seven hundred two. I got questions with seven hundred two because there's two of them. Yeah, I mean, but I and, 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 that, but I mean, but the one that's gone didn't really have a lead. <laughs> I was gonna say, hey, hey, uh, hey, man, how did they, man? You said what I was saying. I you, but she was just she was like a gazelle. She, she was cute, but yeah, 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 yeah. Have, uh, she didn't have no lead, I don't think, on any song. Uh no. Cause um, what's the main one? It was the light, the light skin one and the dark skin one. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? Like, by the yeah, by the end, I think the dark uh I always forget her name, and I hate to keep calling her the dark skin. Is it Cam- it's Camila? I think it's Camila. Camila. Uh, Camila. I, I mix you know why I mix up their names a lot? Because there's been so many of them. There's only so many people there was a 702. But um, so I think that is her name. I think Cam- that sounds right. It's Camila. It's Camila. Yeah, like so her um <clears throat> most songs, I think at this point, she was singing lead on like toward at the with their last couple of albums. So yeah. uh, but kind of just like uh what's the other group? So uh hell well, boys to men. Boys to men said like with Mike being gone, it didn't make that big of a difference. Yeah. What, no, they said that because they were like they they have no reason to have a reunion because they have figured out how to do a three part harmony one, and they said two they've been a three part harmony longer yeah, than they were before. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> um, yeah. To that point, this might be. I don't want to check and see some. I wouldn't mind seeing something. total though. I wouldn't mind seeing total. I would. No, nope, you ain't getting everybody in total. You only getting two. Uh, Which one? Not getting Pam. Uh, Pam. No, you ain't getting Keisha. Keisha don't leave the X home. Oh, I you? thought Keisha was there. I would have no, thought she only did the did she only did that bad boy tour as a favor to Diddy. That was her first time ever and only time being back with 702. You cannot Wait, find her performing 702. And if you do, it's only on that bad boy tour. She'd be at home with uh, Omar. Damn man. But I will say this: that that marriage is one of the best kept Hollywood secrets, and it's not a secret. Per, you know, we all know that they're married, I, but it's one of those. It's definitely top five, but I'm putting uh, Tamia and Grant Hill at number one. Tamia and Grant Hill. <laughs> Tamia and Grant Hill are, and like, and, you know, you hate to call people relationship goals, but there's yeah. a relationship goal of sometimes the way that they interact with each other, the fun that you can see that they're having. You're like, I want to have fun like that. Like, I like, and they just, yeah, like, uh, who was it? One well, of no, my. The 702 thing is, not 702, the total thing, total. Keisha's even deeper. Because Dre is talking about Keisha on that last song on The Love Below, the only song you're rapping on. Oh. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, 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 you know yeah, oh, y'all didn't know that's who you're talking about? Yeah, I remember you said that. I remember you was telling Yeah, that. if you listen to that, he says she was in this group called Total. Uh, but her, um, her and um, Omar Epps did get married until like the 2000s, though, right? Because they he, 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 dropped, he, dropped, he, dropped, he was with her before. She was he was with her before, then he got with Sanaya Lakin. Yeah, he was with Sanaya Lakin. Got with Keisha. Huh? Okay. They were, yeah, they were married in 06. 
Oh shit. Yeah, okay. that's what I said. He was with yeah, Sinai. Low came out 03. <laughs> yep. But he was with her back in, but Andre was with her before he got with Erica. Because he goes through, he says like right when they dropped the first album. Because I guess they met maybe like it seemed like I'm this 94, 95. Right. So all right. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm this is my story here. This is not a legit story. This is an unbiographical uh, story of this. Well, I think I they met exactly. I love our unauthorized uh stories about yeah. what we think happened. So I think they met at Jack the Rapper, right? Because they both were groups that were on the low at Jack the Rapper in New York. I mean, at New, in Atlanta. She, you got to remember, she hadn't come out with nothing on Bad Boy. And he says that in the song. Now, we were both like basically hey, coming up. But I'm, I'm going to interrupt your story, though. But yeah. they both, both did have songs on the New Jersey Drive soundtrack. Exactly. No, that's where I was going. You already see where I was I'm going with that. I'm saying they're both, both of them had some of their biggest songs. We're coming out in 92, 93. And then she blew up before he did, technically. You got to remember, she was the, they was already singing on Juicy. They was already singing on uh, One More Chance. They were singing all that. Draining them. That but first album did well. Players ball and such. Yeah, but you got to think. They, them being on Juicy and being yeah. on One More Chance is MTV. Yeah, it was bigger. <laughs> yeah. And then, they, and then they got the uh, joint with uh, on... The New Jersey driver, can't you see with Biggie and Biggie on your song? And Biggie is like, Yeah, this thing, yeah, he was hot side on you, Dre. She had definitely moved on, her life. and then she got with Omar Epps the first time because they were together two times. He they broke up, whatever reason, the late 90s. Oh, uh, he got so, with Tanaya Lathan from the so Golden Basketball the block for them to get married. <laughs> Who's Man, I don't know. And they, look, and I appreciate their relationship. They keep their stuff off the Richter. Listen, it ain't no like. Like I said, sometimes you'll see, like I think it was some. I think I saw a picture or something of them, and it was like it was like happy anniversary or happy birthday, whatever. And I was like, they still together? Like you don't? They got kids in college now. That's how old they are with, together. Yeah, they kids. They're grown. <laughs> no. But I don't know the seven. I mean, the, the total thing. Total's cool, but it's something about Keisha being in total. I just can't validate the group if Keisha not there. I have a crush on Keisha, and I'm not afraid to say it. No, okay. Uh, I, also, I didn't want to say that. I've been trying to be more. So you don't think you don't think Keisha gonna don't do it at all? She, I'm, that's it. Come that's on, that's so interesting. Why? I don't know. I would think that Pam wouldn't be. Exactly. There. No, yeah, both Pam was on some religious stuff, wasn't she? This is what I'm saying. Like I said, last time that I saw Pam was literally at a church conference in here in in Dallas. She's the on a reality show, wasn't she? Wasn't she on like a reality? Yeah. Show? But she sings she sings secular music, you know what I'm saying? But I think she's trying to do gospel. I get look, I guarantee you, Keisha won't beat her. I know Pam may or may not beat her. It may be the uh, Vita's older sister. What's her name? Is it Kima? Kima. Kima, because that's Vita from uh, Murder Inc.'s older sister. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know that was her sister. Oh, you didn't know that? You look at him. Oh, oh, you did, no, now that you just said that, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I that's her older that. sister. Vita from, from oh, Murder Inc. Yeah. I miss Vita. I miss her. Yeah, that's her older sister's Kima. Uh, the, uh, the, Vita. Yeah. What, what happened to her? What's the oh. Vita story? Irv Gotti did something, man. I'm just gonna go like, where, <laughs> I, where, is, where the fuck is like because not only like is she gone, but like no, but where is Vita? Like let's let me see what the Google say. Like where I mean, every once in a while you, you, you might hear from Charlie Baltimore somewhere or something, but it's like or you might see uh what's the other girl? Amelia something, but where is where's Vita? Emil, Emil, Emil Rockefeller. Emil, they say work at Target. I but thought it was Walmart. But at least we know where she is. <laughs> I thought she Hold was at Walmart. That's Vita. Who that chick be? Vita. And and she got she got that dog on great hook on um uh Mob Deep uh Burn too. Yeah, like I I liked this the song. Um we were talking about Fab, so uh no, not they Fab. Uh, well, so no. either either I'm mad younger than I thought I was in her. I thought she was closer. I this claim she's forty eight. Who? Vita. Yeah, that's about right. She about yeah. But then how old is Kim? Because Kima's her older sister. Okay, so first and foremost, I didn't know that I that she was older than me. I I absolutely thought that I was older than Vita was. 
No, 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 no. no. I, 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 knew thought, that. I would think Vita would be like 45. Honestly. I, I knew she was old. Yeah, that's what I thought about that. I, I thought about that. She looked. She look, look. She fooled me in belly band, nigga. I don't know. She yeah, was, she do look young. She like she looked young as hell. Like she, I, I am in shit. Like That's the, shock I'm in. I am in shit. Like shick. Rashida. Like Rashida look young. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Rashida. I'll say this. I would say this. I thought looking at Rashida. If Rashida said that she was my age, I'd have been like, yeah. But when she was talking about all the places, all this stuff, I'm like, wait a minute, hold on, girl. You got some years on me. Yeah. Like, but yeah, I would thought Rashida was like my age, but um. Yeah, but where is yeah, it? Like, she, did, she did belly at 20, it's 21. I like again, Damn, so I, I really yeah. thought that she was younger. Um, but the uh but yeah, the song with her, Ja Rule, Lamo, um, with that uh what would I do with yeah, that? That is my song. Listen, and I appreciate the same gifts that you got me. Like that's mine. <laughs> I go in. I mean, she's oh, got a she song get on there. The, uh, if you want to check out her Instagram, she has a very active Instagram. It looks I'm like gonna, I'm gonna go find her. It's the uh, Vita, v, it's Vita, 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 baby. It <laughs> so was, a, Vita, uh, it was baby. a murder ink. Was it a murder ink compilation album? Yeah, you're talking about that first, the first one, the murderers album. Yeah, must be. Yeah. So it was like this is a song. So it's called dun, 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 dun. The, and I had sample. Yeah, it's so, we don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck. It's so we don't listen. give a fuck. All right, so the boyfriend that I had at that time was really into fitness. You don't know what it's like waking up in a twin bed and you hear like and it's kind of like moving, and then you hear that song. You wake up to that song playing, and this nigga's doing push ups. Nigga doing push ups right by the bed <laughs> on the bed shit. And I'm like, you like I'm knocked out. See, dan, 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 dan. what's going on? And this nigga doing push ups. That was so that's all. Uh, but. When I finally listened to it, I'm like, I'm close with this. I like this. Yeah. But enough about Vita. I'm going to go for life, be so life before 50. Oh, speaking of 50, is he there? Hey, this cool ass Scott from the I Love 90s Music Podcast. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like it on the SOLC Network. You finna get all the real deal on the 90s, the 2000s, and the splash of that 80s. Do it right now, man. And I'll be your friend.